I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So, today, the release day of Two Point Campus, I am back and I figured I'd start you guys off with a good one. So, what is the first thing that a student will interact with upon reaching your campus? Is it their class? Is it their teachers? Nope, it is their dorm room. They need to check in to their dorm room. So today, I'm going to show you what I call the Perfect 10 dorm room. Let me show you how to build it. So, dormitory, the Perfect 10 dorm is, for me, 7 by 3. Now, if you look up in, at the square there, you only need to build your dorms in a minimum 2 by 2. That would technically allow you to build your dorms as a sort of a individual basis, but I don't think that's the most optimal. If you're trying to, to maximize your numbers, you want a bigger one. 7x3 is pretty big, but also still packs a punch while still not taking up an entire wing of your, of your school here. But the door in the middle. Now, one thing I want to note of, uh, the prestige system is back, and it's just as important as before. However, it's not capped at five, but also they've changed something. You see, if you just go ahead and place an object here, you can see that went up to from 35 to 65. Not bad. Let's place another one. Another little boost there, 86. How about another one? 98. There's diminishing returns on spammed duplicate objects. We are free from the gold certificate spam. That being said, we do need to take some creative liberties in terms of uh, ways of boosting up our, our ratings here. Now, the first things we want is beds. The game explicitly tells you that each bed is good enough for five students. So we're going to build 10 beds, which will allow us this room to cover 50 students. We're going to start with three of the white frame beds here. One, two, three. Grab three of the brown frame beds. There's no difference in quality between these different beds from one another, at least of the standard types. The only reason why I'm differing them like this is so we, these are all technically different type objects and therefore don't suffer as badly from the item duplication or the diminishing returns penalty. Now before we go on the other side, we're going to grab these wardrobes. You need at least one to have a valid uh, dorm room, but I like to place two. At the beginning of the year, students like to check in and there's usually a huge line to check in. So having two wardrobes will help uh, cut that time down. Not to mention it's, you know, they're, they're objects. They give you prestige. Now, on this side, we're going to mix things up a little bit. We're going to do one, two of these beds like this, and then one more of these facing the traditional way. Now, that's nine beds. We have one more bed to place, and that is this thing, the double jump bed. This is not immediately available. It's unlocked with kudosh, but it doesn't take much. If you don't have this unlocked yet, just put a couple more copies of the regular beds, you'll be fine. But if you have this, you want one of it. Just one. It counts as a bed, increases attractiveness, really increases your prestige when you place one of these, and also helps romances and whatnot. I will get into relationships, romances, and whatnot in another video. But this thing's also pretty big, so we only want one of them, because you th you, we just don't have the room to spam them. So we're at almost a five prestige. The rest of the room here, we our goal is to get it up to a 10 prestige. That's the other part of the perfect 10. And we're gonna do that through rugs, we're gonna do that through posters, but we want a, we want a nice wide variety of them. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly what poster to put in exactly what place. You know, find, find the posters that you want and dot them around the walls. As long as you stick to a good, healthy variety of them, you will arrive at a uh, at a perfect 10 here. Okay, here we are. Here is our finished dormitory, and we are at exactly a 10 prestige. I mixed up which order the co bed colors were, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Usually the second copy of an object gives you almost as much prestige as the first one, so I usually am comfortable in putting two copies of something when spamming them around. But like I said, decorate to your heart's content. The other alterations to this, depending on the type of level that you're playing, is if you are playing a hot or a cold map. If you're playing a hot map, you're going to need air conditioners. One air conditioning unit right here to the side. Don't put it dead center or that will block people off. Put it right here to the side and then put a wall unit, these wall unit air conditioners on, on here and here. And that should blanket that nicely. If you're playing a cold map, a, a single large radiator 
should cover the entire room. And obviously if you're in a temperate zone, you don't need any temperature fixers. So that is the Perfect 10 zone. Now, what 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 benefits? Why, why all the fuss? Why do we want this other than just for base prestige? Well, there's a number of different reasons why you want specifically your dorm room to be both full of beds and a high prestige. And that's called the accommodation rating. Every single dorm room has a calculated accommodation reading. The only reason we're not seeing one here is because there's no students here yet. But this accommodation reading has two very important effects. Let me flip to a real level here. Okay, we're back. So here we are with our lovely dorm. This is a beta version of it, so things slightly rearranged. But as you can see here, the accommodation rating is at 100%. Now, there's only 30 students assigned to this because this is a university early in the level. We only have 30 students on campus, so there's only 30 people to come here. But this whole room could fit 50 if it needed to, while still keeping the accommodation rating at 100. Now, what's the what's the upside? Why, why do we care about the accommodation rating? The reason is rent. So as we can see here, in this particular level, in, after our first year, we have taken in over 200000 in tuition fees. And while the XP bonus is pretty substantial as well, I there will be another video on the XP bonus and what it means to you financially. The third most uh, enriching thing for, of all of our income is rent. And the reason why that this is this high is because we are at 100% accommodation rating. Rent is free money on the table. Basically, it's like extra tuition fees. Your students will pay it just because your your accommodation is that high. Not to mention, a comp the full accommodation rating also gives them higher happiness scores can see a one of the uh, factors to a, a student's happiness their lifestyle the average is 50% attitude towards tuition fees obviously you'd have to make them dirt cheap to make everyone happy with that but 100% happiness with accommodation. So this has a knock-on effect to happiness in addition to making you more money. It's one of the rare things where you can make people happier and get more money out of them as well. And the nice thing is when you go to manage courses here, you can see it before you start each new academic year, how many students is your campus going to host before you start the year. So we can see while we only had 30 students in this first year, our next year is going to be looking at 75 students. So this one room is not gonna be able to hold it all. Luckily, we just copy pasta and find a new space for it. And it will be just as good as before. As long as you have more of these than you have of students, then you're good. It, uh, or if you're short on money, you can skip that. The accommodation rating will go down, but you know, it'll still serve its function and you still eke out a decent amount of accommodation rating based on your prestige level in there. So that is the perfect 10 dormitory. I hope you guys like this one and found that useful. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't gotten the game yet, there's an affiliate link in the description if you want to help support the channel and get a Steam key for yourself. But until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!